Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be talking about Blake's nine month old um, development. Um, I can't believe he's nine months old already, but he's actually napping. And I think that before I do this video, I think he should be with me just like how I did it when he was six months. I did um, a developmental video about him um, on when he was six months and it was actually a lot. I just watched it this morning. It is actually a lot of fun to watch. It's so fun to see the changes um, but for now he's napping so I'm gonna wait till he wakes up before I go on with this video in the meantime I'm going to straighten out the house first my husband got me nine dozens of roses on Mother's Day it was such a sweet surprise I worked from 7 a.m. to 12 noon that day so when I came home about 12 30 ish um, I walked in the house and the whole kitchen table was full of flowers it was such a sweet surprise um, but now they're all dead so I have to throw them out um, he says he decided to get me nine dozens of roses because it signifies um, it signifies me being pregnant for nine months and um, and Blake is nine months when it was Mother's Day so um, it was me being a mom for nine months so I, I thought it was a sweet surprise but now they're all dead so now I have to throw them out I have them in four different vases around the house but it's sad because now I mean I don't want to save all of them um somebody told me that I should sa save the petals but that's a lot of petals I don't know I don't like to hoard things so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna save it I have pictures of it so I think that's the most important thing um the pictures but yeah I'm not gonna save the petals Now, let's do his nine month old video update. I'm gonna go off with my, I'm gonna go by with my um, notes here. Blake is now crawling a lot. He gets in everywhere. He eats everything. <laughs> I tried to mop my floor with um, vinegar and a little bit of soap, at least every other day or sometimes every day because he just gets in everywhere. He's very active. He also has a um, walker, a jolly walker. He loves it and he gets all over. But sometimes I prefer for him to crawl around because it makes him more use more muscle when he crawls. Um, and I feel like it's just better for him than the walker. Um, he actually started wa wa uh, crawling at eight months. Um, but now he also he, at eight months he started pulling himself up like um, he would hold on to something and he'll try to pull himself up but now at nine months he's really good at it like he would be sitting and the next thing you know at a blink of an eye he would stand up and just stand up by next thing you know he's grabbing on something and standing up and he's very fast he's really he really he's really quick quick and he bites me a lot. I have a lot of bite marks. I don't know if you can see that, but I have a lot of bite, bite marks on my shoulders, on my thighs, on my arms. He's my little vampire. Are you mommy's little vampire? He has a lot of teeth. A lot of teeth. I will show you later. I believe he's got the ninth teeth coming out. But right now he's got eight visual teeth. Um, 
he right now actually he has bad separation anxiety like um if if he's playing himself um say i'm around he's fine he can be playing say what's wrong what's wrong big boy he will be playing by by himself and then as soon as he sees me stand up and walk away like if i needed to use the bathroom he'll cry or sometimes when he's with his dad he's fine for hours but then as soon as he sees me that's when he cries as soon as i walk away that's when he cries so sometimes it's better for him not to see me when i need to run some errands because he just is very latchy he's very latchy right now um he also is very social when we're out, which I take him, my husband and I take him a lot. We don't go anywhere without him. Um, he is very social. He smiles a lot at everybody. He's not scared at people. If a um, person that he's never seen before tries to hold him, that's fine with him. He doesn't care. Um, and he's just, he's, he's very, very social. I'm still breastfeeding full time. He's, he breastfeeds, um, on me for uh, about six to seven times a day, first in the morning and so on and so forth. Um, he eats a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, he loves every kind of food. Anything that I give him, he, he basically eats. Um, where's my note here? I don't wanna miss anything. Um, going back to breastfeeding, I notice a big decrease in my breath with my breast milk since I started going back to the gym. Mm -hmm. What's wrong, baby love? He just woke up. What's wrong, sweetie pie? What's wrong, honey? See, now he's standing. I mean, I'm kind of holding him, but not really. But he's he's good at it. He's not standing by himself. Like, if he holds onto something, he will stand. Um, and he's good at, like, when he's trying to sit back, he would go slowly, slowly, slowly. Because he's learned that. Um, he's fallen so a few a few uh, quite a few times he's fallen so he he learned that if he go if he sit back down too fast he can fall and he can hit his head so now when he holds onto something and he tries to sit back down he goes slowly so moving uh, going back to breastfeeding and like what I said I noticed a big decrease with my breast milk when I started working out and I I wasn't I did also did intermittent fasting. I don't know if you guys are aware, but for you that that is aware, it's when uh, it's it that's when I started to notice my breast milk decrease. I mean, he still nursed for me a lot, but when I started pumping, I didn't get much. Normally, I would get um, between two of my breasts, I would get eight ounces for one pumping session. About see, he's biting me right now about 15 minutes but now when i started working out i noticed i would only get two on each so that's four total four ounces total now when he's feeding for me when i'm nursing when i'm nursing him i don't know how much he's getting because um they say um a, a baby's mouth suctioning a baby baby's mouth gets a lot way more milk than um a pump machine but I stopped intermittent fasting. I went back to just normal eating healthy foods. I actually went back to eating a lot of healthy carbs like oatmeal, flax seeds, whole wheat, bread, brown rice, all that really high carby foods that's supposed to help with your breast milk. And I know I'm noticing that it's coming back normal, but still not as much as before. So um, I think me working out and me cutting out calories played a big part. But I'm still nursing him full time and I'm trying to save as much milk as possible because even I want him to consume breast <laughs> I want him to consume breast milk for at least two years old. Even if he's not nursing from me, I just want to save up milk so he can have that because I, I really I am trying to um, avoid consuming cow's milk for him. I, I try to avoid um, cow's milk, at least for him. Um, where's, where am I at? Like what I said, he eats everything, but I haven't introduced milk, cheese, or any products yet. I would rather really hold back as, as long as I could um, with um, dairy, with cow's milk, and all that um, for as much as I could. Because I know once he tastes something 
cheese or ice cream I know for some people there's no going back from there um, his current favorite food is um, blackberries he loves blackberries and um, blueberries he loves and strawberries but I've noticed that when I give him blackberries I mean uh, blueberries one time I gave him blueberries and then in a matter of 30 minutes his face was all red his neck and chest was all red so I stopped doing that and so now I'm just introducing a little bit of berries here and there like blackberries like he could eat a big bowl of black bears, but I don't want to overdo it because I don't want him to have an allergic reaction. Again, um, his eczema right now is bad. Um, I don't know when he's going to get over the eczema. A lot of people say normally babies um, get over, um, normally they will get over eczema after a year. So hopefully, hopefully in about three months it disappears because it's a lot. I mean, you can see it on his face, in his hands. Not so much in his body, aside from the back of his knees. Really, the main part is the children blink. The main part is um, the cheeks area. That's where really it gets bad, especially when he eats food because it gets everywhere. I'm um, speaking of eating food right now. He is really having fun eating by himself, like him putting food in his mouth. When I try to feed him food, um, he eats half of the time but not as much as before he he's having a lot of time a lot of fun feeding himself um so that's a good thing um he he's been saying dada a lot mama i've i've heard him say mama quite a few times but not as much as dada but i'm not sure if he really knows what that means yet he just says it a lot because it's easy to say, especially Dada, not so much with Mama, but I'm not sure if he understands what that means. We'll find out. Um, he... Okay, so the other night I made fried chicken. And I don't normally put any spices, not even salt, with my food anymore because what I he eats what I eat now. So I don't put anything until I put them in my plate. But the other day, I made fried chicken and I don't usually put anything with it until, like what I said, until I have it in my plate because I know he's going to be eating it. So I separate his food. I don't separate his food. I cook all of our food with no spices. But the other day, I put a little bit of paprika. And lo and behold, <laughs> he started showing, like it looked like ant bites on his arms. So I thought, because we're having ants, because it's starting to warm up now. Um, we're having ants on our floor. I've, I've been seeing a lot of ants, and I've been wiping vinegar, wet cloth with vinegar, and it's been working. So when I saw him with that, I thought for sure that he got bitten by a lot of ants. I, I, I started panicking. My husband started panicking. But really, at that moment, we didn't see ants on the floor. So we didn't understand. And just it's like half an hour after he ate, it, his chest his belly was just like red and his arm was red and I, for the longest time i couldn't figure out what it was because i said he didn't really eat anything unusual today up until like half an hour into it i remembered i said oh my goodness he's never had paprika before so it's gotta be it so it's a paprika he's allergic to paprika i'm just so glad that two hours into it i just basically um, took up all his clothes, gave him a lukewarm bath. That's Blake. <laughs> gave him a lukewarm bath and put user in lotion, and in about two hours, it disappeared. Thank God it disappeared. Do you want to say hi? Come over here. Come over here. <laughs> Come over here. Let's go. Come, Mama. <laughs> He's obsessed with lights. Lights on the ceiling, lamps, chandeliers, most importantly chandeliers. He is obsessed with them. Like he just <laughs> wants to touch them like we were at Best Buy the other day and he kept going like this to the sign and I said that's too high you can't touch that um yeah he's obsessed with lights right now um I like saying these little things on my videos because 
I don't know like in a year from now or three months from now I don't know what he's gonna be obsessed with so it's fun looking back at the things that he likes or doesn't like um, so yeah he's obsessed with chandeliers and lights um, the other day he fell oh my god he fell from our bed for the very first time he fell from the bed to the floor it's carpeted but he still fell and and he had a little red on his forehead it was scary because it was the first time that it happened and i'm so glad he's fine but i mean a lot of these things are gonna be are gonna happen eventually so right blake right big boy what mommy loves you okay let's go back to our note um he is now um he is now using um, diaper number four, but I feel, no, no, no. He is now using diaper number three, but I feel like, I feel that he is ready for number four. He's barely fitting <laughs> diaper number three. And um, with food, like what I said, he eats absolutely everything. Everything I feed him, everything I eat, he eats. But since we started feeding him regular food, he's been having trouble pooping regularly. Um, when he was only consuming breast milk, he would poop five times a day, no problem. But as soon um, now, especially now that he's eating regular food three times a day, he has trouble with going to the bathroom regularly. So I I made a I made a um, puree. What's the matter, big boy? Do you want this? I made pureed um, prunes. It's very easy, you just soak it, boil it, and blend it. And it's been very effective, but he still doesn't go every day. He goes every other day or every two days, and we did talk to the doctor about that, and he, say, he said that's normal, two to three days, I wouldn't be concerned. So as long as it's going within two to three day period, I'm fine with that. Um, I feel that the prunes actually really helps, because at some point, when I got really scared, at some point, he didn't put for five days going six days so i was freaking out then i was i was scared so um i made a point to um give him prune juice on a regular basis i mean it's not only for bowels anyway prune juice is very good it's very right rich in vitamin c and it's very it's very nutritious so i make sure i give him a few bites of prune juice every other day if not every day but not too much okay so moving on he is at the 90th percentile with height. Um, he's almost 30 inches. And with weight, he's only 35 percentile. Um, he is not really chunky or thin or anything. He's just fine. He's just average. But his length um, is at the 90th percentile. The doctor said that he's very long and he's very tall for his age. As far as toys, um, he is obsessed with the TV remote. Um, it has to be the TV remote. It has to be the Comcast remote because we have other remotes for the speakers or we have the remote for our um, lights. Um, but he doesn't want those remotes. He likes the remote that controls the TV. <laughs> He's just obsessed with it. Um, he, and he loves all kind of toys that makes music or that sings like this one. And the baby Einstein. The baby Einstein, I think it's in the car. I wish I have it here, but that's his most favorite toy of all time. The baby Einstein little clicker musical thingy. Um, and this thing he likes. Anything that makes music, he loves. I really, really have noticed his inclination with music. Um, every time I'm driving and the music is playing, he would hum. I don't know if he's singing along or what, but it's just... It's funny how he, it seems like he's um, singing along when there's music on or um, uh, any toy that, that has a little music, he's absolutely obsessed with them. And what else am I forgetting? I don't know what else I'm forgetting. Um, he is 19 pounds when we went to the doctor last week. He's for his nine month old um, visit, he's 19 pounds. I think he lost weight because last month at eight months, I weighed him, he was already 19 pounds and now he's still 19 pounds a month later. I feel that he 
lost weight because he's moving a lot he's much more active than before yet he's really not eating so much a lot more than usual i mean he's eating a little more but not really a lot more to to um to catch on with his daily activities he's very active so i really think that he did lose one pound between his eight month and nine month old nine month um development um i'm trying to remember anything else what did we forget what else for your nine months development um he is i try to read books to him at night before we go to bed at least two books before we go to bed but he just tries to eat the books also he's wearing now he's wearing 12 12, 12 months clothing um and now we're starting to buy 12 months and what's wrong what's wrong we're almost done and now he's um wearing 12 month old clothing um sometimes even 18 months depending on who makes them that's your lion that's your lion and i don't know what else to say um he's very healthy he's a very happy baby and he's he's awesome blake if you're watching this video in a few years from now i just want you to know how amazing you are you're such a great baby and mommy and daddy loves you <laughs> um and that's about it for now and oh i want to show you his teeth if he'll let me are you gonna let me show them your teeth are you gonna let them show you yeah let's show you Show them your titties. Let's show them your titties. Let's show them your titties. <laughs> Hi. Say cheese. Oh, it was not. He's not gonna let me show them. That. <laughs> he's not letting me. Um, I was trying. Let's show your teeth. Let's show us. <laughs> oh no. No. Okay. He's not in the mood. He just woke up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, big boy. Okay, but that's it for today. That's it for his nine month old video update. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and write your comments right now. Write your comments down below and we will see you on our next video. Thank you. Look.